Hi, I'm Jeff Mel. I am the Michigan basketball and football writer for the Michigan Journal. I'm recapping the number 21 Michigan versus number three Michigan State college basketball game. Michigan won 80 to 75, and a pretty good game by both teams. First, I think um, Michigan played a well balanced game from start to finish. Michigan State uh, played um, a little sloppy in the beginning, and then um, really was tough during the middle and had a pretty bad slide going into the end of the uh, second half. Um, Derek Walton Jr. Um, led Michigan with 19 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. Gary Harris had 27 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 steals. Nick Stalskis also had um, 19 points for Michigan. He was 5 for 6 shooting from 3 point. And Michigan as a team, they made 58% from behind the, the 3 point arc. And um, they shot 83% field, uh, free throws at the end of the game, which I feel is probably the most important uh, aspect of the game. They got the lead. They went on a 10 0 run late in the game. About 229, Derek Walton had a drive to the basket, um, made the layup, got the, the and one. They went up 66 to 60, and that's really where Michigan pulled away the rest of the game on um, the clock, ticked down, and for the, about the last minute and a half, uh, Michigan had to come up with some clutch free throws, so it was pretty important. I also found a pretty interesting stat. Michigan's probably one of the top teams in the nation at not turning the ball over. Uh, they turned the ball over 10 times, and Michigan State only turned the ball over five times, which is normally um, the reverse when you're when you're talking about a winner and a loser, but uh, the three-pointers made by Michigan were really the killer uh, for Michigan State. Derek Walton Jr. being a freshman coming in, having a big impact. But don't forget that Michigan State was without their main player, Adrian Payne, and one of their big impact players, Brandon Dawson. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it was, um, you know, the best versus the best, but uh, it was still a big game. Uh, Michigan State is now 18-2, and 7-1 and one in the Big Ten, and Michigan's 15-4 and 7-0 and and oh in the Big Ten. They have a two-game lead over every team in the Big Ten right now. And... Um, Another real interesting stat uh, that I that I felt that was probably um, you know under underrated, what was big for Michigan was the rebounding. They uh, out rebounded Michigan State 34 to 30. If Payne was in the game, that may have been different, but um, they really did a good job on the boards. Uh, solid defense. Michigan State had suffocating defense late in the first half, early in the second half, and really got Michigan in trouble. Michigan, you know, did the things they needed to do by getting open threes and uh, getting to the hoop when they needed to get to the hoop. I thought the officiating was a little shaky on the Michigan State side. Um, Michigan State got a lot of good home court calls, in my opinion, but that's going to happen um, in, in the Big Ten schedule. So uh, it's really going to be important. That's three wins for Michigan against uh, top ten teams in the last week. So. Going into the rest of the Big Ten schedule, they look pretty good. Uh, they play Iowa coming up as well as um, Ohio State. So those games should be interesting. But um, for now, Michigan is number one in the Big Ten and uh, looking to hold on to that for as long as they can. Um, I will continue my video blogs for the Michigan Journal, and I look forward to seeing you next week.